that do not pursue free education or will manage them back on economic programs that are not beneficial for their people. These were the words of poet, publisher, editor, activist, publicist Odia Ophelum during the public presentation of a compendium of his essays, tributes and conversation which held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuko Yedoku tells us more in this report. These are friends of Odia Ofemu, a man who wears many hats. They have put every other thing aside to mark his 73rd birthday by putting a book together in his honor. Some know Odia Ofemu as a poet, others as publisher, editor, activist, polemicist, mentor, and a politician. It tells me I have delivered some, but I have not finished delivering, and that I must continue working. And I suppose this is one way of not letting me forget that once upon a time, I made promises to friends. Even promises I did not make, but which they expected me to fulfill. The book, titled Odia Ofemu, In Search of a Common Morality, Essays, Tributes and Conversation was revealed by a veteran journalist and columnist, Ruben Abati. Those who know Odia, the title of the third part of the book on the review, the Odia we know. Know him to be a man who takes everything that he does seriously. It is this single-minded devotion to his craft and to his environment, to society, that has been a defining characteristic of his political genius, committed in virtually every facet of his persona as a poet, writer, publicist, journalist, dramatist, producer, essayist, publisher, literary critic, and entrepreneur. The occasion was void of the usual dining and whining, synonymous with birthday celebrations. It was more of a time for speeches and tributes. For the editors of this compilation, to thank them for continuing to honor the man who deserves all the honor that you can give him while he's alive. All the eyes on a body matter of, um, you know, knowledge, knowledge and knowledge distribution. And its knowledge production spans, you know, several decades. And uh, in a society where almost everything is undermined, we feel that we should come together and celebrate his works. The book presentation provided an avenue for the celebrant to renew his cause for free education in Nigeria. Once you enter into a free education mode, all other segments, all the other, other areas of the economy are actually retuned and fine-tuned to produce more. When society do not pursue free education, they escape responsibilities that remove creativity. Senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, and others frowned at what they termed as dollarization of the Nigerian economy. There's no provision in our law for the dollarization of the Nigerian economy. Under their own Central Bank Act, Section 20, the legal tender in it is in Naira, no doubt. In fact, it's a criminal offense to reject the Naira and embrace the dollar. The <laughs> concern today is the economy of the I grew up in Nigeria where virtually everything was almost normal. Normal in the sense that to get a person that will not be able to hit this now means. No matter your, your status, your class position, eating was almost taken. Food was taken for granted. The consensus here is that the book, Odia Ofemu in Search of a Common Morality, Essays, Tributes, and Conversation, is a must read and recommended for schools. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.